fierce opposition, and we stand here today in defiance of their siege and destroy their symbols of oppression. Symbols of oppression. <laughs> saw that video yeah well um i'm not surprised though i'm not surprised because the first time i really saw videos like that i was like really but i'm not so i'm not surprised because we are warned that this things would happen in the end time now this lady here, she she's trying to prove that um they are trying to gain their freedom. She's trying to prove that what they are doing is freedom freedom movement. I don't like yeah. So she's trying to say I couldn't really watch all the video because you know it is blaspheming. For me, I my spirit didn't let me. I just saw clips of their videos. I just saw clips. I couldn't. At first, when I saw the video, I was angry, but I said there is no point of me being angry because even the Bible says that the letter kill it, but the spirit gave it life. So even if she taught the Bible trying to express her freedom or trying trying to uh uh say that about freedom or whatever she, she called it Whatever it is, it is. Whatever. Okay, so even if she taught the Bible, we all know that this Bible is not just, it's not what gives us the life. It is Christ that gives us the life. This Bible is only a map that was that has been given to us by God to see how the men of old, how they had their encounter with God. That is why I always say to Christians that you should not just um carry your bible all the time maybe no other or the just always carrying your bible but you should endeavor to have it inside of you let it be inside of you that means when you study your bible you should let it, let it lead inside of you there is why these people are doing this is because most of them has come across christians that has you know giving them um, introduce uh, like telling them who Christ is not. For example, by your character, your character. Most of them they have been through things they have seen. I'm not trying to justify their acts, but most of them they have been through things. They have seen uh, like Christians do them things. For example, whenever a Christian is so of some Christian, whenever they go out or preach the gospel. You will see, like, they'll carry this, their plank flyer, they'll carry it, and then they'll be shamed people to repent, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And some of them will tell them, God hates you, God hates you, God hates you, God hates you. And you know, these people will take those things into their hearts, like, the God we serve is a God that, you know, they'll have different, different misconceptions about God. That's why I always say that we Christians, we are ambassadors of Christ. Wherever you go, have it in your mind that you are representing Christ. You are representing Christ wherever you find yourself. You are representing Christ. Okay? So wherever you find yourself, know that you are representing Christ there. And that should make you to live a life worthy of emulation. A life that when people see, they will see Christ in you. They will see Christ in you. Now, this lady that I'm just seeing right now, she's looking like someone who is going through stuffs. 
she's looking like someone you know many of them many of them i, I even heard that um during this their uh, certain conference yeah this is a conference that they had the catholic members they all came out and they were protesting they were preaching to them and 100 people other other believers still came out came out to, to talk to them to talk to most of them and hundred of them who went to the conference i heard that they gave their life to christ they repent of their sins so that is that is great that is the great news so these people these people they feel like it's a satan that will get the freedom they're looking for they feel like satan is the one that would give them freedom Reverse is the case. Reverse is the case. The reverse is the case. Because, now let me explain this to you. If this is your first time coming across this video, coming across this channel, or seeing me, or this is your first time here, my name is Maureen, okay? And I'm your host for today. This is True Gospel Talks. So, now let me make this clear. I just want to specify everything, okay? I want to explain everything to you watching right now okay so now this is what really happened when god created man in the garden of eden that was in the book of genesis god created we human being god made you and i he created us okay so when God made man, the initial plan of God for creating man was for man to worship him. Now, this was after Satan had rebelled against God. This was after Satan has rebelled against God. That was when God created man. Okay, so now the position of Satan was to worship God. That was his position. He was worshiping God. That was the position of the devil. His name was not Satan before. He was called Lucifer. So his position was to worship God. And then when Satan began to see the glory, began to he began to behold the beauty of God, the glory of God, and then that rebelliousness came into his heart. He had to speak to other angels. He spoke to them and they agreed with him and that was when they rebelled against God. He wanted to be lifted above God. He wanted to have, to have what God has. He wanted to be worshipped, to be reverenced like God. And that was when he was thrown down to the earth. That was when he was thrown down to the earth. So, after that happened, God created man. He created men to replace. He created men to worship him. We are meant to worship God. He said, let us make man in our own image. Let us make man someone that will look like us. Let us make man somebody that would look like us. So that was how God created man in his own image to look like him. So the initial plan of God for creating man was for man to have dominion, was for man to live, was for man to remain in his presence, was for us to stay with him. His plan was not for evil to come, to come in. His plan was not for us to live in pain. His plan was not for us to, 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 to suffer. That was not the plan of God. That wasn't the plan of God. The plan of God was good for us to stay with him. So after God created man, he gave man an instruction. Just a simple instruction. Because the way I see it, the, the way I see it is that, now this was what happened, okay? Now, 
God was in a position just like this corner. And the devil was outside of God's presence. The devil was outside with those demons, with his angels. They were outside. Okay? So when God made my man was with God and the devil was out. Okay? So the devil was planning. He was plotting against the creation because he saw that ah, God made somebody that looks exactly like him. That means I am replaced. So because the devil wants to get back at God, him and his angels, they were planning outside of the garden of Eden, outside of the presence of God. They were planning on how to bring men down, on how to finish men. So God gave men a simple instruction, very simple. He told men, he said, among all these trees, eat from all, oh, but do not eat from the tree in the middle. Simple. He told them, if you do, you will die. Simple. Now, the death that Christ, that, that God was talking about, was not physical death. That was why they did not die when they ate the fruit. The death he was talking about was... Uh, uh, um, um, spiritually was spiritual death that was what he was talking about that we will no longer have the same fellowship we have because the, the, the nature of God the attribute of God is holiness, righteousness and purity God is too holy to behold sin that is the nature of God you say you have your own nature but the nature of God is, he is a God that is too holy to, to condone or behold sin. That's his nature. That is the nature of God. So, after man ate from that fruit, what happened to them? They died. That covering, that relationship, it was it it went away so god was trying to bring men back to himself he was trying to bring men back to himself he was trying to create that same relationship that was how pain pain came pain was introduced because of what the devil did so from the beginning the devil has been the one fighting men from the very beginning he had been the one fighting you satan is evil he has been the one rebelling. He has been the one causing you pain. Your mother died of cancer is because of the devil. He is the one that brought in that sickness, not God. And because you could not call upon the name of the Lord, because you keep on living this kind of life, acting this way, this thing keeps repeating itself. Why hates why hates God? Well, the Bible says that men that the lies came to the world, but men hate it because because they hate the light. They hate the light. They don't want to see the light. They hate the light. And that is why you see things like this happen. That is why you see things like this happen. We are not angry. Yes, we are we are Christians, but we are not angry. A true child of God, a true Christian, would not be angry for this act. Because that is the move of the devil. That's what the devil does. These people, they need Christ. They are empty. They need Christ. They need to know the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because that was what God sent him to die for you and I. For us to be saved. But because the devil is still after your soul. Because the devil does not want you to see the light, to see the glory of the gospel. That is why he brings up things like this. That is why he brings up things like this. So from the very beginning, I want you to know that it has always been Satan making the move. He had always been the one destroying, killing, 
because his mission in John 10, 10 his mission is to kill, steal, and destroy everything that Christ, every good thing in your life. That is the mission of the devil. But Christ has come to give you life, to give you life in abundance. You say, why is it that evil happened in this world? Evil happened in this world because evil is in this world. Evil happened in this world because evil lives in this world. Evil lives with men. And that is what Christ is trying. He's telling you. Because he cannot force you. Jesus cannot force you to repent. He gave us choice. He gave us the right and the, and the freedom for us to make our choices. So it is left for you to make the right choice or the wrong choice. He told them, do not eat from this tree. But they made their choice. They ate from the tree. And then the consequence, because everything has consequences. For example, you are a mother. When you tell your child, do not do this, that child does that. Thing. You, the child will surely get the consequences of, 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 of what the child did. The child will surely get the consequences of that thing. So that is the same way it is in God. He's a God of justice. He said, do not do this. Why? Because I don't want to lose you. Don't do this because I love you. Don't go and fornicate. Don't go, don't go tearing the Bible because I love you. Don't go blaspheming. Don't become rebellious because I love you. I want us to be together. Don't become a homosexual gay because I love you. I'm your father. I want us to be together. I don't, these things are the only thing that can hinder, hinder my hand from reaching you. That is what, that is what God is saying. The hand of God is not too short, but our sin has make it seem like his hand is short. It's too short to reach us. These sins are the things that are pushing God away from you. That are pushing, not only pushing God, because God is still there. He's pushing you away from God. Sin is the only thing, is the only thing that is demarcated. So, he loves you. He loves you. Yes, and God loves you. He wants you back to himself. The devil, the mission of the devil is to kill, steal, and to destroy. They are healing Satan in this video. They are healing him. Oh, he's, they are healing Satan. Why they are healing he is the, he is the one that is responsible for the war. He is the one responsible for the disease, for COVID-19. He is the one responsible for it. He is the one responsible for the red. He is the one responsible for all the evil happening in this world because he is evil. Okay? Christianity is not about judging we are not here to judge you we are only world peace of god telling you the truth that you need to know because many their eyes are blind to see the truth okay thank you so much for watching and god bless you so i have this lie said that god loves you god doesn't hate anybody but he hates sin. He loves you so much. The reason why you, we are speaking out because we want you to return back to your maker. God wants that relationship with you. He doesn't want you to perish. He is not the one that will send you to hell. God is not the one that will send you to hell. Rather, your sin is the one that will send you to hell. Because hellfire was made for the devil and his angels. So anyone who does no fool too feels like they can follow, they love the devil. And they are doing the things that the devil did, which is rebellion. You you go ahead with the devil to hell. So God is not sending anyone to hell. But your sin is what will send you to hell. Because sin is part of the devil. Okay? So I, 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 I just hope this lady that taught this Bible and all of them that went to that atten attended the conference, I just hope they see this video and get the, the real truth and the reality about God. 
Thank you so much for watching and God bless you.